Hey, George Lugo Jr. here from Queens, New York. I've got a question for you. Are you inside of a home-based business or a network marketing company and have an unsupportive spouse or loved one? In this video, I'm going to share home business uh, ideas for overcoming unsupportive spouse or loved ones. So let me dive right in. So you need to understand that your spouse or loved one you need to put yourself in their shoes. Typically, what most people do, 95 to 97% of home-based business owners, what they do is in the very beginning, and this goes for whether you're new or you're a veteran in the industry, when you're new, you're prospecting everybody. They're telling you to you know, make a list of friends and family, which is nothing wrong with that, and you end up, most people end up prospecting the wrong way. And so it ends up where you're, asking you are typically writing a list of people you know and sometimes you cross the same people that your spouse knows or your loved one knows you end up prospecting them the wrong way and you end up being in the NFL club which is no friends left club <laughs> and if you have been in this industry for a while you understand what I'm talking about and as you pro as you as you continue this and you find out that nobody wants to see nobody wants to see what you have to offer you join another business and you do it all over again and that cycle begins all over again it gets to the point where your spouse or loved one is like he or she's in another business again and they're going to prospect my friends and family you know i'm really tired of my friends not wanting to come over i'm really sick and tired that if i call them they don't want to pick up the phone because it's probably my husband or my wife or my loved one trying to prospect them or try to get them into their deal. Okay, Understand the feelings. They're the ones that are sitting in the sidelines watching you. They're the ones that are sacrificing not being with you like you used to. You're not sitting in the couch watching TV with them like you used to. You're not sitting there going to movies. Um, you know, regularly like you used to. You're not going out for dinners as you used to. You're not sitting one to one, one, you know, uh, face to face with your loved one or your spouse like you used to. You see, you know, when you start a home based business, there's a lot of work that's involved. And so there's a lot of sacrifice. And guess who really has to sacrifice that in the very beginning is your spouse and loved one. So think about that for a minute. Tell them, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sitting on the sidelines and watching me succeed or fail. Thank you for delaying and waiting for me as I create some success in my business so I can have the freedom to spend more time with you because I haven't because I was building my business. Which leads me to the next tip. Is go to work. You want to have a supportive spouse or loved one instead of an unsupportive? Go to work. Okay? You know, get your jersey dirty, roll up your sleeves, and go to work. Prospect, prospect, prospect. Okay? Uh, cold market, you know, Facebook, Twitter. LinkedIn, Instagram, all the social networks, there's plenty of people to talk out there, to talk to out there. So get to work. Create the results right away. You know, a typical spouse or loved one will give you about, I don't know, 30, 60 days. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that's really, you know, conservative. I mean, that's a lot of time for them. Remember, your spouse or loved one probably has never ever been in business before. And so they're used to a job where you work 40 hours and get paid on Friday. So they're sitting there like, well, you know, he said, he or she said that, uh, you know, they'll be very successful in this. You see a lot of people, you know, when they get started network marketing, they'll tell their loved ones, hey, we're going to make 10,000 a month in 30 days or in 14 days. Because network marketing paints a picture that you're going to make a lot of money, there's really no time frame. That could take you years. That could take you months, whatever it is. But go to work. 
go to work. Don't talk, just go to work. And your spouse or loved one will see that you're working hard. You're going to get those results. And last is try your best to get them to an event. Why? Because of belief. You see, you're sitting there telling your spouse how great this business is. You're making very, very little commissions in the beginning. And as you work your ass off, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And as it starts getting bigger, you need to bring your spouse or loved one to an event so that they can see that this is real. There's people making six, seven, eight figures in this business, and you need to get excited about it and bring your spouse or loved one to an event so that they can see it in their own eyes. And by you prospecting, 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 doing income producing activities, you'll start to see some success in your business. And you'll start ranking. And as you can see, as you are, if you're successful enough to bring your spouse or loved one to an event, they'll be crossing their arms in the beginning, but later on, they'll start loosening that up, breaking that barrier, and starting to understand what network marketing, home-based business is all about, and start to partner with you. Maybe they won't, but most will once they see success. So I hope this video helped you with understanding the home business ideas of the unsupportive spouse or loved one. If it did, if you uh, if you got value from this, go ahead and comment and share. I always appreciate that. And by the way, if you are building a network marketing business, home-based business, and you need more people to talk to, just go ahead and click the link below. I use a marketing system that helps me generate leads so I can have enough people to talk to about my network marketing business. So go ahead and click the link below. And um, when you get to that screen, enter your name and email, and you'll watch a presentation of how that can help you in your business. So with that being said, this is George Luca Jr. from Queens, New York. If you are looking for more ways to build your business online, visit my blog at georgelugojr.com, enter your name and email, and you'll get a weekly invite of webinars hosted by my good friends, six, seven, even eight-figure income earners teaching you how to build your business online. That being said, this is George Lugo Jr. from Queens, New York. See you in the next one.